The Falcon 1E was a proposed upgrade of the SpaceX Falcon 1. The Falcon 1E would have featured a larger first stage with a higher thrust engine, an upgraded second stage engine, a larger payload fairing, and was intended to be partially reusable. Its first launch was planned for mid-2011, but the Falcon 1 and Falcon 1E were withdrawn from the market, with SpaceX citing limited demand before its debut. Payloads that would have flown on the Falcon 1 were instead to be flown on the Falcon 9 using excess capacity. Topic. Design The Falcon 1E was to be 6.1 meters, 20 feet longer than the Falcon 1, with an overall length of 27.4 meters, 90 feet, but with the same 1.68 meters, 5 feet 6 in diameter. Its first stage had a dry mass of 2580 kilograms, 5680 pounds, and was powered by an upgraded pump-fed Merlin 1C engine burning 39000 kilograms, 87000 pounds of RP1 and liquid oxygen. The first stage burn time was around 169 seconds. The second stage had a dry mass of 540 kilograms, 1200 pounds, and its pressure-fed Kestrel 2 engine burned 4000 kilograms, 8900 pounds of propellant. The restartable Kestrel 2 could burn for up to a total of 418 seconds. The Falcon 1E planned to use aluminum lithium alloy 2195 in the second stage, a change from the 2014 aluminum used in the Falcon 1 second stages. Topic: Launches. Falcon 1E launches were intended to occur from Omlik Island, part of Kwajalein Atoll in the Marshall Islands, and from Cape Canaveral, however SpaceX had announced that they would consider other locations as long as there is a business case for establishing the requested launch site. Following a demonstration flight, the Falcon 1E was intended to make a series of launches carrying Orbcom 02G spacecraft, with a total of 18 satellites being launched, several per rocket. EADS Astrium had been responsible for marketing the Falcon 1E in Europe. Topic. See also. Falcon, rocket family.